Hello everyone, it's Theme Park Avenue, and it's time for another Theme Park Battle. Today, we are looking at two top-notch Cedar Fair Parks, Kings Island vs. Carowinds. Keep in mind, each category will be judged individually based on my opinion of the park and a little bit of research. And keep in mind that this is not a definitive list, it's more of an opinion thing. Let me know in the comments which one you like better. Let's begin! As usual, we will start off with the inverts. So, Banshee and Afterburn are two of the most respected B&M inverted coasters out there. Personally, I think Banshee's more spread out, unique layout is a lot more fun, and the ride's a lot smoother because it's a lot newer. So it's my favorite invert, and it wins the first point. Now for the launch coasters, I've not actually been on Copperhead Strike, but from what I understand, it's a superior ride with a very good layout, and a much longer experience, so it will earn the point. Now for the mine trains, Carolina Gold Rusher and Adventure Express. So Adventure Express has very good theming and a stronger layout, so it will earn the point. And now for wooden coasters, Racer at Kings Island and Hurler at Carowinds. So Racer is the weakest of the three big wooden coasters at Kings Island, but it still has more airtime than Hurler. So Kings Island earns the point without having to use the Beast or Mystic Timbers. And now the Hyper Coasters, Diamondback and Intimidator. Personally, I think Diamondback has the all-around best layout of any B&M Hyper, with really strong airtime, some excellent turns, really intense moments, and the water splash. Intimidator has good airtime, but not really a whole lot else, and the trims somewhat kill. So Kings Island continues to lead. Now for some kitty coasters. So these are both just kitty coasters that are pretty average. However, Wilderness Run is a much larger layout, so I'll give Carowinds the point. Now to get this out of the way, both parks have a wooden Woodstock Express, so I'll give both of them a point. Now for the boomerangs. This was a tough one because I think Flying Cobras is the, the most smooth and intense Vacoma boomerang out there, but that's the sit downs. The Invertigo model is a lot more fun, I think. So I guess because of the model, I'm going to give it the edge. But keep in mind, Flying Cobras is the greatest name for a roller coaster ever. Now for family coasters. So Flying Ace Aerial Chase was the name of both of these, but now Kitty Hawk is. And Kitty Hawk has better restraints, so it earns the point over Flying Ace. Now for two completely different family coasters. The Bat is an Arrow Suspended Coaster, and Ricochet is a Wild Mouse. Bat is obviously more intense, longer layout, more unique. It wins. Kings Island earns the point. And finally, the Giga Coasters. So Fury 325, often called Best in the World. Orion, not really as much. You know, we know who wins. Moving on. Now, each park has three extra roller coasters that don't really match up against anything else, but I'm not counting Surf Dog at Kings Island, so we only have three for each. Beast, Mystic Timbers, Backlot, Stunt Coaster, and then Carowinds, has Vortex, Carolina Cyclone, and Nighthawk. Now moving on to rides other than roller coasters, the Drop Towers. Kings Island has one that's over 300 feet tall, Carowinds is only around 175 feet, so Kings Island will earn the point. And now for flat rides, so both of these have a wind seeker, so they'll both earn a point for that. Kings Island has Delirium, and Carowinds has Electro Spin, so the parks will each earn a point for those as well. Now for the dark rides, both of these have a Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. Not really sure if either one is that different, so I'll give both of these a point. Water Rides. Carowinds has none. Kings Island has both a River Rapids and a Log Flume, so they will earn two points. Now for other rides. Which park has more? Carowinds clearly, as you can see, has 42, while Kings Island is 34. Carowinds earns the point. This category is really tough. Shows, it's hard to find much information on because the websites are updating for 2020. But from what I understand, Kings Island doesn't have as many shows as Carowinds does, especially around holidays and Halloween. So Carowinds will earn the point, but it's not really a competition. Now for food. 
it's a pretty tough one because both parks have really great food. I've eaten at both. I like Carowinds more personally, but I feel like my personal food preferences are not really fair. So I decided to look into it and found that Graters and Blue Ice Cream at Kings Island are a lot more well known than anything at Carowinds, so they will earn the points. Now for theming, both parks, I'll say, have really great entrances. The Eiffel Tower is great at Kings Island. I think the Kings Island Eiffel Tower is a bit more well done than the observation at Carowinds. There's also a bit more terrain and landscaping at Kings Island, so I'm going to give them the points. Now for the layout. Both parks do have pretty strong layouts. All the big rides are near each other for roller coaster enthusiasts, and there's plenty of paths to get from one place to another. But looking at Kings Island, it seems there are less mini paths that are separated by smaller buildings and rides. So I think I will give Kings Island the points. Now for operating season, it's very hard to find actual operating season information right now because of COVID. But from what I understand, Carowinds is further south, and that seems to mean it'll have a better operating season of more days. So I guess I'll give Carowinds the point by default. Now for prices. Looking at this, Kings Island is cheaper for a day ticket, and it has specials like you can bring friends for a small price, and you can go after three for a small price. Finally, operations. Both parks have good operations. Their B&M coasters, of course, are very good. However, the Boomerang at Carowinds and Nighthawk are pretty slow overall because there's only one car on no each one normally. However, Kings Island has the Beast, which is incredibly well run because of how long the ride is, so I'll give Kings Island the final points. And winning by 7 points is Kings Island. Congratulations to this park. I personally think an all-around park, this is better, but for roller coasters alone, I think I like Carowinds because of Fury 325. Thank you for watching. Comment down below who you think should have won and why, and any advice you have, and any park battles you'd like to see in the future. Also, subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more of these because I'm really trying to get to 200 by the end of July, and I really hope you guys can help me with that goal. Thank you. I'll see you next time.